Hey, what's up, broskies? Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing our first q and I'm going to be answering about 15 questions that you guys left me on the YouTube's uh, comment section. I know I sound a little bit sick. It's been raining the whole week over here in SoCal, so most of you may understand. And uh, But yeah, let's get on with this video. All right, so today's question is from FBI. <laughs> FBI. That's just funny. That's his uh, actual name on YouTube. He says, do all 350Z models burn out? I think mine is a base and someone said it can't. So, all right, bro, whoever told you that 350Zs can't do burnouts, uh, he lied to you, all right? Let me tell you why. Let me show you why. Check it out. Badass, huh? <laughs> Um, so in order to do a burnout, like a standstill burnout, you gotta obviously have a welded diff or even a VLSD, you can you can do it. But you gotta cancel out, let me show you. All right, so if you wanna do a burnout, and this is, this is for everybody, all right? You gotta lift up this thing, and then, you guys see this uh, fuse right here? It's got one, two, and then three together. So it's basically, two ABS and then the ignition switch. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, pop this little cover off and then break the little, basically break the fuse, break both ABSs. And then once you do that, you'd be able to, uh, you're gonna be able to do some burnouts. And there you have it boys. On to the next question. All right broskies, on to question number two. Lil Coop said, opinions on RBs. <clears throat> All right, so. For those of you that have known me for a while, you guys know that I've had my RB on my 240 truck. And basically, sorry, and basically when I installed it, I installed it, it was all stock. I didn't do anything to it. All I did was a uh, big turbo, big injectors, and ECU, and that's basically it, the 85. And that motor made, I believe it made 460 horsepower and then it made like fuck I think it was like 380 or close to 400 torque so I was beating on that thing oh by the way shout out to garage life he was uh he's the one that tuned it but um yeah I was beating on that RB for about four I want to say like four years um not every day of course it wasn't my daily I just took it to the track but every time I, t I would take it to the track I would abuse the freak out of it you know so um, my opinion <clears throat> is that mine was reliable I don't know about others you know you're, you're always gonna get different answers from different people but out of my point of view um, I think RBs are cool and um, yeah once you build them I guess they're they're kind of bulletproof so so question number three will you marry me said Rene Galvan um, let me see your bank account, bro, and uh, maybe we'll talk. All right, next question. Manny19 had two questions. He said, where are you from? I am born here. I'm a pocho, what you call a pocho, because I have Mexican parents. But um, I consider myself a Mexican because I look Mexican, you know? I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, I'm a fucking, I'm a gringo, you know? I'm not a fucking gringo. Um, I consider myself a Mexican. Uh, both of my parents are from Durango, Mexico, so I hope that answers your question. And uh, yeah, I'm from SoCal, SoCal, California. Sunny California, but it's been raining all week, so hey. All right, next question from the same person. Do you plan on leaving the Z red or painting it? <clears throat> Actually, I personally don't like red, but the plan was to um, resell the car basically fix it up and then resell it and obviously if you leave the stock color like I didn't want to paint the door gems or anything like I didn't want to change the color at first because I was like you know what I'm gonna sell it so might as well just do red and then it's gonna be an original red original red car that was my goal you know to sell it but now that I like I don't have a drift car you know that's like my only drift car so I kind of want to keep it for a while and I was thinking of painting it so maybe pretty soon <laughs> so yeah pretty soon i might change the color on it because i don't like i personally i don't like red but that's the only reason why i kept the red <clears throat> so yeah i hope that answers your question bro 
Trippy Jew said, how did you get into auto mechanics? Um, I don't consider myself a mechanic or, I mean, I do wrench on cars, so fuck it, you know? Um, when I was like 16 or 17, I began to like flip cars. I, I, I would buy Civics, <clears throat> uh, sometimes shells, and then I had a homie that would like hook it up on, on, on swaps, and so I would take, take my cars to, them, to him. He would build them and then I would sell them, you know, all the time. And, and continuously, you know, buying shells, fixing them, selling them. And uh, it got to the point where I was like, man, I can make more money if I work on them myself, you know? So I started doing my own swaps. I started, but not like internally, you know, just swaps. Like I would, I would buy a car with the blown engine, I would switch it out and I would put a new one on. Never like, I never got into like in deep with the, uh, I never got in like deep in, inside the motor, if you if you guys um, know what I mean. But um, yeah, that's that's how I started like, um, I guess getting into auto mechanics. And um, yeah, I started making more money. Um, it would take me longer, but, but yeah, I would make more money flipping those cars. And then, check it out. This is also how I got into fucking painting cars because um, I wanted to sell them for more so I would take them to another guy, um, this dude's backyard. He would um, like paint them for us, for me and um, my homie Angel. And we, me and my homie Angel like, were like, oh, let's, let's, let's learn from this guy, you know, so we can paint our own cars and then save on, on labor, you know, for painting. So we would go to this dude, we would take him cars Dude, by like the third car or the second car he painted from us, we were like, hey fool, let's just buy our own uh, our own paint gun, compressor, and all that stuff. And yeah, we started fucking painting our, our own cars. Um, and yeah, that's that's how that's how it all started. <clears throat> just because I wanted to make more money, you know, I didn't want to pay anybody else. That's why we learned, you know. Um, you guys should do that too, by the way. Learn from others. All right, next question. One slow VQ said, "What's a good project drift car?" Um, right now, before I think 240s were like the perfect drift cars. Right now, sorry, um, it's kind of hard because of the drift tax. Everybody wants a 240. Everybody's overpricing 240s. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider a 240. Um, right now, what I would, I would. Like recommend is getting a 350Z since they're pretty cheap. Right now you can find a 350 for like from two grand to like 35, you know, in in a decent decent condition. So I would just do that instead of a 240. You're gonna end up paying around the same, and it's an older model. And yeah, I kind of rather have a newer model, you know, something stronger. So 350Z is the way to go right now, um, in my opinion. All right, next question is from Jose Duenas. He said, what made you get a 350Z? What made me get a 350Z is, shit, that's a tough one. Um, I think it's because they were starting to get cheaper than 240s. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should start getting into 350s, you know? And I did. Before this red one, I think I had, um, I think I had one, two, three around six 350s prior to the one I currently have. And one of them, I sold it to my homie Angel, my twin. So that was one of my cars that, that I sold to him. But um, yeah, the, the cheap, they're cheap. And I know my homie Harvey, you know, he hooks me up with body, white body kits, so I can find a cheap one and basically make it look good for cheap, you know? It doesn't cost me a lot to, it didn't cost me a lot to build that one. But um, we'll probably get into details later on. I'll probably make a separate video and then I'll let you know how much I spent on that car. <laughs> or maybe not, because I might want to sell it later on. And... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Francisco said, when are you going to start working on the 240 truck? Oh my God, that's a freaking frequently asked question. When are you going to start working on the 240 truck? When, when? I don't even know guys all right so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to answer it um, I can I can fix it bros I have everything like I have the motors there I have all the suspension parts brand new I have everything to redo the cage I have 
I can paint it. I have all my body kit. I have, I have everything, but I don't want to start on it because I kind of want to make it better. Like I know, I know with the stuff I have, I can make it look the way it was before, but I kind of want to make it better. You know, like redo my harness. But then since I'm not that good at doing harnesses, I gotta pay somebody. And it's just, uh, I gotta wait, you know? I, I kinda wanna wait till I get more money and and do it right for once. But, and at the same time, I'm still thinking about it. Like I look at it every day, it's like right here, look. I look at it every day and I'm like, should I fucking just get another car? Should I, what should I do, you know? So that's a tough one, you know. I really want to get it up and running, but at the same time, like, I kind of want to wait and make it better. So, so yeah, and and I have the 350Z, so it's it's like okay, whatever, you know. I can drive in the Z, but I do miss my car. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding, but yeah, dude. Yeah, broskies. Um. I want to fix it. All right, next question. Thurbo TJ said, you would not like to drift in Tijuana? Would you not like to drift in Tijuana? I would love to drift anywhere, bro. Anywhere. Um, I did go drifting in TJ, like, I think it was like five years ago. I took the 240 truck, but it wasn't a truck back then. It, it was a hatch. I said it, it was a normal car, and uh, <clears throat> it was a pretty sick event. Um, the event was on, I think it was in El Cerro Colorado, or it, it was like behind a baseball field, and they had like two layouts. It was pretty cool. And uh, I do want to go back in the Z, but the Z is not registered, guys. Like. The way I see it, um, I gotta pay like 700 bucks to register the Z because it was from Copart, from the auction, and <clears throat> you gotta pay, you gotta pay the tags obviously, and then you gotta pay smog, and then you gotta pay bin verification, and then you gotta pay um, breaking light. So I was doing my calculations, and it's around like 700 bucks. So um, I mean, I can track it, you know, I can I can throw it on my trailer. But I can't take it out to TJ because the car has to be registered under your name if it's on a trailer. And then I don't want to risk driving it all the way to TJ and then get pulled over and that's it, you know? So it, it's kind of hard, you know? And for like 700 bucks, I kind of rather like go drift at Willow or, or, or um, Grange or Adams. But um, it's, it's, it's kind of hard, bros. Um, right now, kind of hard. So, I do, I am going to go someday, watch. I'm, I am going to go, so I would love to. John Noriega said, when is Truquita going to be ready? Um, It's going to be ready for sure this year. All right, for sure this year. I don't know when, but for sure this year. And once I start working on it, it's going to be quick. All right, so just wait on it. All right, next question, Melvin A. What is your dream build? My dream build is right here, bro. This is my dream build. My dream car is a different car, but this is my dream build. Like, ah, you guys, you guys wouldn't understand. Like, this is my baby. This is my first car, my first like drift car, my first 240, my first everything. So, um, this is my dream build. <laughs> I know it's a fucking yonke, but. It's my dream build. I like it. You got. You guys don't understand. Like, you, I swear, you guys don't understand. Like, the connection me and Troquita have. Ah. All right. Wizard of Oz. Does your Z have a quick release? Yeah, it has an NRG quick release and it has a USPL steering wheel. So shout out USPL. Eric Gomez. Cuando le caes a TJ a darle? There's gonna be an event in March. Tono más <laughs> caile. Compas, um, no puedo ir a Tijuana porque el carro no está registrado. <coughs> y este, me sale como en 700 dólares registrarlo. Y se me hace mucho, ¿no? Para ir a, a driftear, ¿no? Se me hace mucho 
registrarlo nomás para eso. So, y no lo quiero registrar porque fuck, voy a andar de desmadroso aquí en la calle, you know? So, um, tal vez, tal vez en un futuro le caiga, you know? Pero uh, por lo pronto ahorita no puedo. Está cabrón. Alright, Broski, so this is the last question. How much money do you make on YouTube? <laughs> Guys, I don't make shit right now. Actually, I am. I'm making a couple cents, you know, but it's it's nothing, bros. Like, everything I do, it's out of my pocket, you know? I bought, let's see, I have this camera. It's a Canon 80D. I think I paid like a grand for it. And then I have a G7X that I paid like 600 bucks for it. And then recently, I bought another, I bought a new computer because the one I had was old and tired. So I spent like another 1500 and every time I make a video, I guess, you know, all the time, like I spent, I think around like in, like, okay, my first video that I uploaded, it took me, no lie, like two days to upload it and it was a headache around two days and then right now I got kind of faster so it'll take me like from 30 minutes to an hour at the most but um yeah if you guys want to help me out if you guys want to see better videos you guys better like the video you know subscribe and uh, yeah you know share with your grandmas and everything but yeah um, I'm making a little bit some uh, chump change but it's really not worth it. Like I haven't gotten back my money that I've invested um, in camera equipment and and stuff like that. So yeah, um, it's hard. It's really hard. But okay, you know, as long as like I get, as long as you guys comment and let me know what's up, you know, fuck it, you know, I'll continue to do videos. So I'll be here for a while. I'm not gonna give up, you know, because sometimes you kind of want to give up. You're like, ah, fuck, you know, like it's hard. Plus, I'm not even making money, so it, it's kind of like unmotivating. But like when you read those comments and and hear from people like, oh hell yeah, bro, like um, like good, you know, good comments. Um, it helps you. So I always leave a comment and like the video, so it, it tells me, you know, that you're enjoying them and uh, I can continue to make more videos. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new and uh, happy Valentine's Day. If you guys don't have a Valentine, I'll be your Valentine. I have a pimple look. <laughs> I'll kiss you like that. Just kidding. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.